heard of him. I don't believe you. You know well enough where he is. Well, I told you I don't know him. You're a friend of Steve's. What's this all about? You better come along with me. Steve Reynolds. He wasn't in there, but this fellow was, and he says he don't know him. If you don't know Steve, what were you doing in his cabin? Well, I was riding by here when I spotted this cabin, and there was no one home, so I borrowed it to pick some grub. Who are you? My name's Bob Burke. I heard they were paying top wages down here, so I hit the trail looking for a job. We've got no use for strangers in Apache Basin, and I'm warning you now to leave. Supposing I don't leave. The next time I see you, this gun will do the talking. Now get going. Come on, Hank. We're due at Martin's. Grandpa, did you find Dad? Nobody. But I saw Steve Reynolds early this morning at his cabin. He was just starting out for the sheriff. He said he saw your dad four days ago riding our fence on the north. And a bunch of Halsey's men took him away. Did they hurt him? No. Steve said they didn't harm him any. They made him ride along with them. Now, don't you worry, buddy. Everything's going to be all right. Come for your answer. The answer is no. Yeah? Well, that's just too bad for you. Where's my son, Tom? How should I know? He was last seen when your men picked him up. Maybe so. I think you're using him to scare me into signing my land grant over to you. You're a pretty good guesser. And I got the money right in my pocket to pay for it. Luke, this land is my home, and I'm going to fight for it. Listen, Martin, I'm going to get Apache Basin exclusive to run my sheep in, and nothing's going to stop me. I'll give you one last chance to settle this in a peaceable way. Yes, 
I'll make you a proposition. You sign the land over to us, and there won't be any more trouble. When I see my son, I'll talk business. Your son's too ornery. He's liable to talk you out of it. You sign first, and I'll produce him afterward. How do I know he isn't dead? You'll have to trust me. Trust you? Why, you... Grab him, Hank. Drop the hardware. This means you're finished, mister. Maybe. Maybe not. You're not the boss of Apache Basin yet. Now you had better start riding. I never was so glad to see anybody in my life. How are you, Jim? Hello, buddy. Hello, Bob. Gee, I'm sure glad to see you. Well, I got your letter saying Tom was missing. I hit the trail as fast as I could. Well, it was mighty fine of you to come over and help us out. What do you think happened to him? Well, I think the Halseys know. I stopped at a cabin on the way here. Halsey came there looking for a fellow named Steve Reynolds. Yeah, Steve's a neighbor common. He went to get the law. But I don't think he'll get through because Halsey's men cover all the passes. I'll get through. Now you better wait a while. You need resting up. I'll rest when I get back. Buddy, I want you to take good care of your granddad while I'm gone. I sure will. Are you Steve Reynolds? I am. Well, my name's Burke. I've been looking for you. Oh, you have, eh? Not so fast, Reynolds. I'm a friend of yours. Say, what happened to your arm? I've been plugged. And there ain't any sore bones around here for miles. Maybe you can give me a lift getting that slug out. I'd <laughs> be glad to. I've got a screwdriver and a pair of plies in the cupboard. Well, I've got a jackknife. Good, we ought to be able to do a first-class surgical job. With those tools, I can cut your arm off. Yeah? <laughs>
Then this other hombre rode in, got the drop on me and ordered me out of the basin. That was the horses, all right. There. In a week, you'll be as good as new. I'll drop in every day to see how you're getting along. Which way are you headed for now? I'm going to the county seat and see the law. Well, forget it. What do you mean? The sheriff and the deputies are all right. But in the basin, the horses are the law. You mean the sheriff is powerless to do anything? Yeah. Well, then it's a handful of cowmen against Halsey and his gang. That is the story. Sure, count me in with you. Oh, boy, I'm all healed and worried. Uh, you take it easy. It'll be a week before you can hit the warpath again. How do you expect a guy to stay in his cabin for a whole week? Doctor's orders. Steve, my very good friend. I hear you've been wounded. I sure have. But who told you? Oh, I have a certain way of finding out things. I thought maybe you'd need a doctor. I had one. He ain't a professional, but better than most of them. Meet Mr. Burke. My name's Poe Powers. Glad to know you. So you're a friend of the Martins. Who told you? There's very few things that happen that I don't find out. Well, Steve, seeing that you don't need me, I think I'll be rolling along. Glad to have met you, Bert. Thanks, same here. You know, I have a feeling that we're going to know each other a whole lot better. Very soon. So long. Curious critter, ain't he? Sure is. Certainly doesn't seem to belong in a tough place like this basin. Who is he? He is the most feared man in this territory. What do you mean? When it comes to shooting, he's greased lightning. And he's supposed to head the most dangerous bunch of men in seven states. Does he trail with the Halseys? Oh, no. Hope Powers does his shooting in the open. He is one of the squarest fellas I ever came across. Sort of a Robin Hood, eh? Well, uh, yes, uh, sort of. Yes, yes. How does he stand with Halsey? Oh, nobody seems to know. But everybody figures Halsey would give his right eye to see him hanging to a tree. Yeah? How come? First, as long as Poe is operating in the basin, Halsey can't have his own way. Second, Poe's in love with Halsey's wildcat sister, Mona. Oh. And I suppose after Halsey cleans out the ranchers in this basin, he'll go gunning for Mr. Poe Power. That seems to be the way the cars are stacked. Well, I'd better be drifting. How about getting a fresh start in the morning? You say the stranger's spending the night at Steve's place? Yeah. There was a light in the cabin and the fellow's horse outside unsaddled. I got a hunch he's going to give us plenty of trouble. You should have plugged him when we first seen him. Oh, shut up, plugging guys. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't want you to get too rough with this guy unless... Unless what? This is men's talk, Mona. Well, go right ahead. Your little sister's listening. Maybe I can help out with a bit of advice now and then. As I was saying, I don't want you to get too rough with this Bob Burke unless you have to. Maybe you better talk to me about him. What do you know about him? Plenty. Poe told me that... 
Have you been seeing Paul Power again? Easy, if you know what's good for you. What do you mean? If I was a man, I'd slap you down this minute. And I will, if you say another word against Poe. Mona, I don't want you to ever mention Poe Power's name in this house again. Hmm. Oh, yes? Well, there are plenty of places where I can talk about whom I please. Sam. We're going to have to keep our eyes open. I sure will. I've got a score to settle with that hombre. Me too. But no fancy work on those trigger fingers. Oh, all right. Don't forget what I told you. You take it easy with that arm. All right, Mr. Sawbones. And if you see the markings, give my best to them. the idea? Where are you heading for? That's my business. We happen to know you're heading for Martin's Ranch. If you know so much, why ask me? You've been told to clear out of this here basin, haven't you? Seems to me I did hear something like that. Well, what are you going to get? No, I happen to like Apache Basin, so I've made up my mind to settle here. You'd better change your mind. I'll think it over. I don't know what your game is, but I'm warning you. From now on, stay out of my way. Mister, you're biting off a big chunk of trouble. I was raised on trouble. Now get and keep going. Nice work, cowboy. Put him up. Probably good enough for my brother Hank, but not good enough for me. Maybe I ought to apologize for my two stupid brothers letting you get by with it. But somebody in my family's got to be smart. I take it you're Mona Halsey. You guessed it right, stranger. My name's Bob Burke. What do you intend to do with me? Take you to my brother's ranch. He'll do the rest. And that'll be a plenty. Just so long as they don't put me to herding sheep. He'll have you doing worse than that before he's through. As long as you're going to be around, I guess I could put up with anything. That's enough talk. Get going. Don't shoot, Martin. I'm sorry, miss, but the girls with guns always did make me nervous. Why, you... Put up your gun, my friend. 
Well, that's a nice picture I see. I come to visit my lady love and I find her in the arms of another. It's certainly not because I want to be. Well, if I thought you wanted to be, neither you nor he would be alive now. You know, I like you, Bob Burke, since I see you can be stern with men and gentle with women. Gentle? <laughs> Nearly broke my wrist. Well, I'm sorry if I hurt you, miss. No, oh, I'll pay no attention to it. Why, women often love to be hurt. Well, I like that. What are we going to do with this cowboy? Turn him loose. What? You're on your way to the Martin Ranch, aren't you? Seems like everybody in this basin knows where I'm going every time I show myself. <laughs> I want to have a little talk with you. Certainly. I'd be glad to. You see, my dear, our appointment will have to wait. I've got a lot of important things to talk over with our friend Bob. So he's more important than I am, huh? cabin nearby where we can talk in private. You're curious as to why I wanted to talk with you. Yes, I am. I've had you closely watched since you came here. It might save your life. You're trying to help a friend. You mean Tom Martin? Yes. He's the best friend I ever had. That is, if he's still alive. Don't worry. He is. You mean that? I do. Where is he? If I should tell you where he is, would you go to his rescue? Even though it meant your own death? Of course. Right. You are the man for me. If I tell you where Tom is, It'll be up to you to set him free. He's hidden in the Holsey Ranch House. I don't know where. I'll find him. I want you to do something for me. The Holseys hate me and want to get rid of me. Looks like we're in the same boat. That's right. If you should learn when and how the Holseys decide to do away with me, would you let me know? Of course I will. And if any danger threatens you or the Martins, I'll protect you. I'm happy to have found a new friend. Where's your granddad? Oh, here he comes now. Oh, Bob, I'm glad you're back. So am I. I've got some news for you, Jim. Well, if it's good news. It is. Tom's alive. Thanks, heaven. Luke Halsey's got him in his ranch house. And I'm gonna get him out if it's the last thing I do. Well, you'd be taking your life in your own hands. No, Bob. I'd rather sign my land over to Halsey and take a chance on him sending Tom back to me. What assurance would you have Halsey would do that? You're right. I haven't any. That's why I'm going after him. How are you, folks? I thought I told you to stay home and in bed for a week. Now you know I couldn't do that. If I'd stayed in my cabin a whole week, I'd dry up and blow away. You better be careful of that arm. You're liable to lose it. Get me a wooden arm. Then I can take it off and bounce Halsey on the bean with it any time. Anyhow, I brought old Betsy along. And if Halsey and his gang try any shenanigans around here, they'll find a couple of old campaigners awaiting to show them what's what. The next time you see me, Tom will be along. You better send Buddy over to his Aunt Molly's till this trouble blows over. 
Oh, gee, I don't want to go. I miss the fighting. Where's he heading for? He's going to bring Tom back. Well, if anybody can do it, he can. It's awfully sweet of you to come up here and visit me, Mona. Everything is so calm, peaceful. Yes. I feel that way, too. I must be going home. Luke will bowl me out for being so late. How long is it going to be before you tell Luke where he gets off? It's going to be very soon. I hope so. Adios. Adios. Get him? We did, and then we didn't. What do you mean? He got away. Got away. You don't mean to tell me the two of you couldn't handle him? Then why didn't you run him out or bring him back here? Why, Luke? Because your brothers got cold feet. I watched them handling those strangers. They were as clumsy as a couple of goats. I noticed you didn't do any better yourself. You? How come? Well, after he got through with Sam, I sneaked around and got him cornered. He was too fast for me, too. Yeah, 
And then Pope Power comes Never right mind up. about Pope Power. Pope Power, was he interfering? No, he... Well, he just happened along, that's all. Oh, yeah? Well, we saw everything. And it looked mighty suspicious to us. That's not true, and you know it. Now stop it. Let's not have any quarreling. Mona, you go to your room. I'll talk to you later. About Poe Power. <laughs> A lot of good that'll do you. So Poe Power's buttoning in our business, eh? Sure looks like it. Why, he and the stranger rode off together like they were brothers. Poe Power's got to be stopped for good. Understand? You mean that... Yes, that's just what I mean. Well, it'll take more than just the two of us to get him. Yeah. Figuring that him and that Bob Burke stranger are working together. But we'll, we'll ride down to Martins and settle them. Then we'll round up our bunch and go after Poe and his gang. Right. That's what you think. Reach high and keep him that way. Drop it. Tied up, tight as a drum. He sure saved us a lot of trouble. We didn't even have to go after him. He won't interfere with us from now on. We'll watch and ride on to Martin's. Let's go. Bob! 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 Where are you? Tom! Where are you? I'm right here in the storeroom, off the hall. They've got me hogtied and I can't move. I'm in the same fix. How's Dad and Buddy? All right, so far. He hasn't signed the land over to Halsey? No. Good. We gotta get out of here, Tom, before it's too late. Yes, but how? Quiet. There's someone coming. All done up like a Christmas package, huh? I see you found out who... Yes, and I found out a few other things, too. I'm listening. After they've wiped out the Martins, they're going gunning for powers. How'd you find that out? I heard them figuring it out, busted in on them. The only thing for you to do is to warn Poe and beat your brothers to the Martins Ranch. No, no, I can't do that. Why can't you? Because the guards outside, they killed the both of you. Never mind the guards. We'll take a chance on them. Poe's got to be warned. But they'll kill him. Sure they will, if you don't turn us loose. I'll ride to Poe's camp. The guards won't stop me. Well, wait a minute.
guess we're sunk, Bob. Not yet. We've got to get out of here, Tom. out the back way and get word to the sheriff. I'll hold him off till you make a getaway. Right.
rounding up the gang. They're going to raid the Martin Ranch and then come up here to get you. How do you know? Bob Burke. He heard them plotting everything. How did he find out? Oh, hurry. I'll tell you all about it on the way. Well, boys, get to your horses. We're riding. These are the ringleaders, Sheriff. I figure the rest of them will clear out of the basin. Well, my boys will round them up now. Seems if you didn't need me after all. I'll say you didn't. Well, don't give me credit for doing this single-handed. I had a little help. Whether you know it or not, Poe works with us right along. I sort of figured that. Say, 
I've got some unfinished business. What was that? I'm going after Tom and Buddy. Come on, get the other day. 